mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun. So go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Bob Chapman's joining us coming up in the next segment, and I'll use that time with him as we got so many other guests coming on to get into the WikiLeaks situation, uh, cover the latest on government surveillance, what's happening with the economy, the TSA, that's all coming up. we got about five minutes left with Michael Braverman, and I'm telling you, these, these shows, and I didn't call them and tell them this last season because they were great. But but this year, with the police state and the water, I mean, I call them after I see it, and I say, I can't believe that just went on television. I mean, th th this is a first. And for those that have heard me hype it, I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of emails going, wow, you weren't joking about these new shows. In fact, it's more powerful than what you even said. Remember, this isn't Alex Jones on the radio and the Internet. This is television on a mainline network and the globalists are upset. Michael, in closing, we, we got about four minutes. Uh, you run through the other bullet points. Okay, I'll go quick. So we know about correction. We covered that. And just understand that that company is hugely connected to BP. Okay, now we move on to what the end game is. And what is the end game? What, what we're going to present to you tonight at 10 o'clock is the BP oil spill is not just something that just happened. It's connected, and it's connected to, starting with Katrina and, and the government's ridiculous response to Katrina, we believe, and we're going to present some evidence that is absolutely explosive. You have the documents. We have the documents. This is confirmed. You don't want to let them know? Well, I'm going to tell them something. I'm going to tell them something, and that is, that is the big oil companies, remember I told you how huge they are, how, how you can't calculate how much money they have, and big government, big oil and big government are joined together, and the plan, the plot, the conspiracy is to turn Louisiana and the whole Gulf Coast into a giant oil depot, a huge oil refinery, because remember this, 30% of America's oil, 30%, comes through two ports in Louisiana. And what's in Louisiana? A whole bunch of pesky fishermen, a bunch of pesky environmentalists, a bunch of loudmouths. They want to get rid of them. They want to get rid of them because they want to have their way with the state and the whole Gulf. And if you all don't believe me, and if it sounds like I'm just hyping and I'm just yelling and screaming in the wilderness, watch the show. Well, you know what's incredible, Michael? At the Cancun meeting, we have the official U.N. document. It talks about forced relocations of populations worldwide out of uh, areas that cause a large carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. And so it's all about forcing people out of areas. And you guys got the documents, particularly that that's what they plan. That's why they won't let anybody rebuild down there. They want them gone. They want them gone. And we get, we, we get the Corps of Engineers, and, and Jesse puts them on the hot seat. And I'm just going to tell you, you guys will not believe it. Is this Don't even more powerful? Because I wasn't there for that. I was down there only for a few days. Yeah. Is this even more powerful than 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 the congressman crapping his pants? Oh, it's um, you, you, you guys won't believe it. You're going to watch this, and you're going to see these people. And you know, they think they're just going to have a really nice interview. And I'll admit one thing: I did surprise them because they didn't know it was Jesse interviewing them. And we set it up, and Jesse walks out, and the guy goes, "Oh, that's Jesse Ventura." Now he was a PR flack, but with him was this very mysterious Dr. Reese. And uh, you're, you're just not going to believe what you see. You're just not going to believe it. And, and I'm right there, and I'm you know filming it, and I'm producing it, and I'm going, I don't believe this. I, I, I mean, we caught these people, you know, right there on the open. With their pants down. Yeah, with their pants down. It was 115 degrees, and, and I'm thinking, like, we just caught you people, you know, and you're sweating in it ain't because it's 115. <laughs> and they were making Jesse for the show wear that black suit. Well, I, I make him do I know, that poor guy. He's, He's mad at me for that, but anyway. Um, but, but it's pretty explosive, and, and I think if you, you, know, you watch it to the end, and you're going to go, 
you know, this show isn't just blowing smoke. It's not just blowing smoke. You see these people, you see them sweat, you see them tremble, and you're going, oh, my God. Well, Michael Braverman, it's 10 o'clock tonight, Eastern, 9 Central, True TV. Uh, amazing. Look forward to talking to you next week for the Pentagon episode. God bless you. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Calbin Five Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct, shipped via UPS right to your door. Check them out on the web at fivestarsoap.com or call 800-340-7091. Take my word for it. Once you've used pure soap, you won't buy anything else. Since 1947, Calvin Soap Company has been showing consumers that soap can be tough on dirt and gentle on the environment. Buy American and stay clean, as well as support InfoWars. Visit 5starsoap.com today or call 1-800-340-7091. Well, Marty, what do you have to say? As founder and owner for over 63 years, satisfaction is guaranteed or double your dirt back. Call us at 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog or visit our website, 5starsoap.com. Thank you. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to HomeGain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to HomeGain.com. Use their Home Sale Maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. Hi, this is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about the delicious, easy-to-fix, and very storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. I've told you for years that eFoods Direct has the best storable food on the planet. Now it's that time of year again, and their holiday special is here. They have two holiday price packs for you to put into your reserves for a secure future or to share with others. The first is a six-month bulk supply in 10 cans. And the second is a five-week supply of quick and easy-to-fix meals, including delicious bakery items shipped in heavy tote bags. Now, for a limited time, when you order two or more of these special holiday packs, you'll get free shipping on your entire order. Call now, 800-409-5633, or visit them at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. That's 800-409-5633, or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, he joins us every Friday. He's only with us for a half hour, regrettably, today because the producer so jam-packed the show, which is great. But it's a catch-22. Uh, Senator Rand Paul elect coming up uh, later. Uh, James Dilling poll covering the uh, attempted world government UN takeover. Criminal uh, confab going on down in Cancun, Mexico, that's falling apart again, thank God, uh, as the fraud comes out. But since Michael Braverman for Conspiracy Theory was talking about the government documents they got, this is confirmed that this is part of a relocation program on the Gulf Coast from about the middle of Texas on the coast all the way over to Florida. And so they just want to set the precedent, get everybody used to pollution, shut down the smaller companies that can't make the payoffs, and then only allow the big three oil companies in there. Just like the bill in food safety, publicly written by big agribusiness to shut down small farms and ranches. Just like the health care bill, it's now hundreds a week of waivers to big mega corporations like McDonald's and others. You don't have to get insurance for your employees, but everybody else does. Nobody can compete against that. It's all about vertical integration. But here's the special climate change program, 2009-2012, summary, executive summary, and we've written articles about this, and it says on page six, forced relocation of populations to lower their carbon footprint. 
Bob Chapman. I mean, this is this is this is what the game's all about. You always talk about the 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 double set of rules. Wesley Snipes gets three years in prison, uh, even though he was found not guilty on the big charge. Rangel clearly not paying millions in taxes. He gets a slap on the wrist because they're above the law. Talk about that. I am. I think. As far as the corporations are concerned, it's a perfect example of corporate fascism. And you talk about vertical integration, and that's exactly what it is. You hit it spot on. And there is a double standard. Uh, the gentleman, Mr. Snipes, should have never gone to jail. I mean, they've had far worse cases than that, and the people have walked with a fine. And they're setting him up as an example. Uh, Wrangle is a dreadful person and uh, he belongs in jail uh, did you see the picture with his son uh, uh, reported uh, a theft inside of the government cadillac that he was driving yes that's that, that's a that they don't care they believe that they're above the law and they can do anything they want to do it's amazing of, of this full spectrum of news out there let's get into wikileaks first uh, Assange lawyers are preparing for U.S. spying uh, indictment. I had John Young, who registered the WikiLeaks name. He really is the original WikiLeaker. Uh, he says stuff on the Vatican's coming out, on banks, uh, on torture chambers, on our government trafficking and WMDs. Uh, that's that's pretty scary. Well, I hope it comes out. Uh, it, it, we need it. And... Uh but on the other hand, uh, we, as you said last week, we have to make sure that Mr. Asai is treated fairly and that this thing is not going to turn into uh, let's kill the Internet. Well, that's what they're saying. They're calling it the Patriot Act for the Internet. And uh, Young made the key point, and, and of course you were in intelligence, you can talk about this, that they're giving us – Good tidbits, but notice it, 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 it's basically a regurgitation of the same pro-war, anti-Iran, anti-Pakistan propaganda. And Iran and Pakistan both say they concur with your analysis that this is staged. But there's other tidbits about dying core and child trafficking and things uh, that are mixed in there. So they're doing this to get credibility. And, and then they're going to start releasing stuff on Russia and, and, and other enemies. Uh, so, so let's talk about that. Well, it, uh, it reminds me of uh, a, a typical disinformation uh, situation where you get 95% truth, even though it's uh, uh, regurgitated truth, and then they get their 5% in the message, uh, sort of what Glenn Beck has been doing. And, um, and, and this is what they're up to here. It's an exercise in disinformation. We could get some goodies out of it, but uh, they'll deliberately put them in there uh, knowing that no harm will come from it eventually, and it'll make it seem like all of the information is bona fide. For what's coming up, targeting specific banks that are enemies of Soros, and the Soros connection is 100% clear. We predicted months ago that Assange is a useful idiot who would probably be burned, imprisoned, or killed, and now no bond uh, for, for not using a condom in consensual sex? I mean... Boy, I tell you, this is tyranny. It sure is. It sure is. Uh, I just picked up an article today. They picked up uh, two Mexican Americans with 190 grand in their vehicle, and the judge says you got to give it back. And the police department didn't give it back because Homeland Security scooped it and said it belongs to us because they're drug dealers, which they're not. It's just another example. These people do anything they want. Well. They claimed in, in San Diego the guy's house was full of bombs. He said, "Let this is on record, AP, let me back in to prove they're not bombs. This is he, He's not convicted. They blow up the house, burn it down, and are now going to convict him with no evidence. They could show up at anybody's house and burn it down now and say there were bombs inside of it. I mean, due process is going out the window here. You're right. And another thing. Doing what they did in that area was very dangerous, especially this time of year, uh, for fires, because everything is like a tinderbox there. 
And uh, that could have got out of control. And 